What is up everybody? Welcome back to Super Mega Baseball. My name is Mr. Hurricane. This is the second episode with our brand new team here, our Overdogs. In our debut, we didn't have a great game. We lost 8-4. We showed some power against the Moose, but they're a team built around power. They were a lot better than us. So today, we take on the B-Wolves, which if you were here for the first 150 episodes of the series, you know what that team is. It's my old team that I built over many seasons, won championships with, and now the showdown is ready to take place as the B-Wolves, looking for their first win in team history, will take on the powerhouse B-Wolves. Let's go. I'm sure things are about to get interesting. And now, they like to rework their order and line up a lot differently than I would. So Andrew Ross, who was an MVP, a triple crown winner at one point, he is not in the starting lineup. He'll come off the bench as we get underway with Nate Bell leading off. His debut did not go well. This is Andrew Johnson. Luckily, it's not Andy McKenzie that we're facing right now. Oh, tap back to Johnson on the inside. I swung at too many bad pitches last episode. Still getting back used to the game again, so hopefully things get cleaned up now. As Martindale steps in. There we go. Let's take a few pitches every now and then. Whoops! One and two. And grounded onto third base. Manning on to Dominic Carter for out number two. And that takes us to Alonzo Holland. Right down the middle for strike one. Just below the knees. And that one clips the outside corner. One, two. And a fly ball to left center field that will fall in in front of Lance Adams. And we're aboard. That gives us Marcus Calhoun with a runner on base. He scored the first run in team history on a homer. Ooh, back him off the plate there. And then working outside. Johnson behind in the count. Here we go. Maybe a two-out rally's coming. That was a junk ball right there. That movement was weird. The rotation of the ball. Oh, right down the middle. What am I doing? What am I doing there? Okay. Let's pitch. Jonathan Starks. I'm not used to being on this side of things. As Starks hits it sharply to short. Come on, Martindale. No. Can't throw it. His ex-teammate at the University of Minnesota. Maurice Manning. Fly ball for Calhoun. It'll be a tough play. And it's out of reach. Stealing. As the line drive is hit into a right field. And the first two are aboard. The pitching has been really tough so far. We have Patrick. Papa on the mound. Patrick Papa Giannopoulos against Lance Adams, who sends this out. I'm trying to pitch him out of the zone, and he still gulps it out of the stadium. This is a team that I built. I don't know how to feel right now. It's 3-0. Oh, thank you. Corey Boyd would give us a little break here. Hey, back to Papa. Now Dominic Carter, as he flies this into foul territory, let's get these cheap outs. And Leon Daniels, pitch him inside. Leon, back to Papa. We get three in a row, but not until the, the B-Wolves tack three on the board. So let's go again, Michael Riley at bat. Johnson is all over the place so far. I'm not sure what to expect on a pitch-by-pitch -pitch basis. Round ball to short, and Rose makes the play. All right, Reggie Carter. At least we're making Johnson use a lot of pitches. As Reggie did not get a hit in the first game, that is so nasty. 84 there, that looks fast though. And a walk. So we get our first runner of the inning. And now Terrence Johnson. Come on, Terrence. 
Oh, man, underneath it. That was a good pitch to hit. And it will not fall in. So two down here in the second inning as our overdogs try to get a run back. At least one, and it's Rashawn Brooks, whose bat is not that intimidating. 0-1. Oh and, and low again. Ah, oh, Johnson was outside. And Rashawn Brooks goes down swinging as we can't get anybody across. All right, Flash Jackson is up now. And I'm not sure the twi the twins, the B-Wolves don't seem to be using all the boosts I had for them. So that's at least good news. Maybe they're using some, I'm not sure. As the grounder goes to third base, Calhoun on to Riley. There we go. That's four in a row retired here for Patrick Papa after the Lance Adams home run. And a jam fly ball into right field. We got this, Rashawn Brooks, whom I'm not sure will stay in the lineup much longer because we need, we need a boost on offense. And Brooks just doesn't provide a lot of it. He's a great defender, but we need offense. And strike three here, Papa with a very good inning there. Now we'll see if he can do anything in the batter's box. Come on, Patrick Papa. Ah, oh, popped it up. Back to the top of the order now. Let's see Nate Bell actually get a hit. He has been underperforming so far. Low sample size, though. Man, another bad swing here. But, reaching because of that speed. Make a little mistake, Nate Bell reaches. We have a runner. We've had one every inning so far. Oh, man. That was a nasty changeup. Round ball to second base. Four, six, three, double play to end the inning. We can get someone on first, but beyond that, it's a challenge. Nice catch at short by Kevin Martindale. And then Manning up the middle, oh my! The middle infielder's putting on a show, it's Alonzo Holland. Who's next? We are pitching around Lance Adams. If we walk him, so be it. There we go. Make him swing at bad pitches. Just clip the zone there. And a tapper to Calhoun. That is nine in a row retired for Patrick Papa. So we go to Alonzo Holland, and I love this batting stance. This seems different than most, uh, well, it seems pretty basic, but it also seems different than most stances in this game. He's retired, though. Now Marcus Calhoun, as he gives this a ride. How far will it go? Can it outrun Lance? Yes, it can. Extra bases. Calhoun digging for third. He's in. A triple for Marcus Calhoun. And here is Michael Riley. Riley grounds it to second, and that will do enough to bring home Marcus. We are on the board against the B-Wolves. Now Reggie Carter, who walks back in the first or second inning, I forget. Make him use the pitches. Look at the stamina already. Let's get him to their bullpen. That bullpen is really inconsistent. I know them better than anybody. As Calhoun strike or uh, Carter strikes out swinging. All right, Papa. This is a jam fly ball again. Brooks races in. Ten in a row set down. Turning out to not be a terrible day for Papa, but still work to do. He could still earn a quality start. Another jam fly ball. And this is caught as well. Terrence Johnson. Here's Leon. Way out in front. And a line drive to center. We missed our spot there. So the B-Wolves finally get another hit. That was like 11 in a row. Now Flash with a tapper, and I don't think we have a play here. Too fast. Darren Rose, though. He will fly to right. And that is caught by Nate Bell. 
So 3-1 as we head into the fifth inning. Terrence Johnson. Ah, bit inside there as Johnson covers well. And now Rashawn Brooks. Hey, that's giving a ride to deep center field. And Brooks nearly sends one out. All right, Patrick Papa. By the way, as far as the upgrade system goes, I'm still not exactly sure what I want to do. I might... Like, I want to continue upgrading the team, but I'm not sure, like, how many games we can really win right now. At least we're competing today. But... I was thinking maybe one for every loss, two for every win, or one for every win, otherwise, like, two losses equals a coach. All I know is that back when I started playing this game, I was basically leveling up the entire first season, so I was able to get a bunch of coaches on the team. As Starks puts this deep in the outfield, and that'll be a run, as he will dig for third base. Papa getting himself in some trouble here. Still has plenty of stamina left. As this does get through. And it's 5-1 B-Wolves. I'd like for us to allow less runs in this game. Oh man, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. Nate Bell trying to catch this. And that could be another run. That was a weak throw back to the infield. And it's 6-1 B-Wolves. Now things are getting out of control. Three more on the board. Now a fly ball that I don't think they'll test. But you never know. They will not. Oh my! No! Get that home! You gotta be kidding me with that! I've never seen that in Super Mega Baseball. Colin can't leap high enough. It got away from the catcher. Unbelievable. They're going for another triple. They got it. Papa's day is turning out to not go so well. Leon deep center. Caught, but another tag up. And it's eight to one. This is what I was worried about. Jackson to deep right. There we go. So I might go, you know, one coach per loss, two coaches per win. That seems like at least a system that rewards winning. Sharply hit to third base. Not going to work out for Nate Bell as we are down seven. Martindale with a... Uh, Laser to third base. Maurice Manning, though, very good defender. And then Holland back to Johnson. Six good innings from him. We're going to our bullpen now. Let's go to Spencer Cooper, who gives us a lot of velocity on the mound. Look at that, 94 miles per hour. Let's mix in some breaking balls now. And that'll go to Martindale for out number one. Johnson out in front. Oh, good pitch. Get him with the strikeout now on the fastball. And Johnny Starks. I am sure liking Cooper here. Wait a minute, look at Stark's ratings. Those are certainly not what he began with. So, they're using boost in some capacity. And that is sharply hit. Thank you very much. Alright, Cooper does a good job. Now Marcus Calhoun leads off the seventh. Oh man, it might bloop in though. It might. It's in the perfect spot. Marcus Calhoun just knows how to get things done. Now Michael Riley. Come on, Riley. Oh, how'd we miss that? Popped it up in the infield. Get back, Marcus. This is Starks gloving the first out. Now Reggie Carter looking for his first B-Wolf hit. 
He gives it a jolt to left field with Carey, and that is off the wall. Nearly a home run. Carter will end up at third base with an RBI triple. We'll see if we can tack on some more. Terrence Johnson. Nope. Falling behind here, Johnson. Nearly down the line. Let's at least get this third run. Back to the pitcher. We can't go home. Johnson is retired. Rashawn Brooks, we're going to pinch hit and see what we can do. Because Carlton Sanders would probably be the other option for starting in the outfield. So let's see what Carlton can do here. Sanders steps in. He doesn't have great ratings. Has, uh, I think, decent fielding. One and one. We're in front. Way in front, as you can tell. One and two. Whoa, that was almost off the screen. We're battling. Pretty hard. And it gets through! How about Carlton Sanders with that at bat? RBI single that he really had to work for. That was great. Now Spencer Cooper, who can hit. And we're going to face Evan Newton. He's got a lot more velocity now. You been working out, Evan? Cooper gives this a ride. Okay. Spencer Cooper off the wall. He's in with a double. We score our fourth run. It's now the same score as it was last game. Are we done here? Nate Bell's turn. Uh-oh, two strikes. Oh, we strike out on three in a row looking. That one I wasn't sure would hit the zone. That was bad. But we got three back. Would have loved to have seen Bell put it in play, of course. But at least it's eight to four now. We'll see if we can limit the damage with Spencer Cooper and continue to chip away. We have a couple innings left. But we've got to keep them from scoring more. And they have the heart of their order right here. And we got Adams to chase one low. There we go. Adams flies out. Now let's get that double play ball. I think Leon's up now. Nope, Corey Boyd. He's not very fast, so double play possibility. Chase it. Wow, he does. It's going deep to left. And it's caught! A basket catch by Terrence Johnson! And almost doubled up. I have... Dude, I can't get much closer to going out. A basket catch against the wall. For That is almost impossible. We get the out. All right. We have a chance, guys. Down four. Evan Newton up high. Hits the corner. Ooh, good pitch. One and two. And a bit underneath this, Martindale gives it a ride to left. Caught by Lance Adams. Now Alonzo Holland. Ah, tapped it to the right side, and that's another easy one. Running out of time, and we're getting through our best hitters right now. Calhoun to the seats. Look out. Strike two. Ooh, back behind the screen. There we go into the gap. And not a reach. All right, Marcus Calhoun is aboard. He's going to dig for three. And that is another triple. Let's get this run. Come on, Michael. Let's go, Riley. Oh, I didn't mean to swing at that. Oh, my. One and one. Oh, that was a great pitch. No! He pulled the string. And we're going to have to get it all in the ninth inning now. So Spencer Cooper. On the mound. Leon! Deep left center, and that is gone. A home run as the B-Wolves pull ahead by five. Sorry, Leon. I never meant all the things I said about you. 
Leon Daniels has been such a fun character throughout his time on my series. He is a product of the viewers. His legacy, that is. To the right side. Nice play by Riley at 6'5. He's got that big wingspan to go out and get that. Not that it's reflective as much in Super Mega Baseball, let's, but let's go with it. I thought about sliding there. But against my better judgment, I said no. And that is going to be a double. So 9 4 B Wolves as Jonathan Starks wants to get them in the double digits. And it's off of Martindale's glove. Into left and past Johnson. Come on. It's 10 to 4. Maurice Manning to center. And that should be a run. All right, Lance Adams, we get back to the top of the order. Oh, man, our fielding is just not good enough. 11 to 4. Let's bring in Sammy Hawthorne. We got to get Sammy to shut this down. We got two strikes here on Corey Boyd. Huff, what? That's a strikeout. All right, 11 to four. Down seven heading into the final inning. Reggie Carter at bat. I want to see us get some of our bench players some playing time, though. So, why don't we sub in Adam Kirkpatrick right here? The righty. Kirkpatrick, line drive, center field, base hit. Let's get everybody involved here. Terrence Johnson will sub him out for Tyler Adams. Ratings are not very impressive. But the first two miss. Popped it up for Leon Daniels, who doesn't even have to move. Right there in his catcher position. Carlton Sanders now, as we will sub in. We'll keep Sanders. We'll sub in for Sammy if this isn't a double play. <laughs> right on cue. Double play to end the game. The B Wolves win it 1 or 11 to 4. That offense is just too good. We know all about that offense. Now, we had nine hits today, no home runs. We struck out five times and walked once. So our pitching right now is a major concern. We have not gotten a good outing. And uh, Spencer Cooper definitely trailed off toward the end. So the B-Wolves, my former team, they put on a show against us. It was great to see them all again, but they didn't have to be that mean about it. So, I'm going to go and upgrade another staff member here. We'll do two for winning, one for losses, unless something better is an idea. But we have 28 available spots, and I'm just trying to put together a good kind of house rule for it. So, our pitching right now is really bad, and I'd like to get our contact up a bit. So, if I could find a combination of, like, contact plus something for pitching, that'd be wonderful. All right, this one might work out really well. Susie Thrifty here, the gear broker. She gives us the batting gloves, a carbon fiber bat, and gold teeth. So we'll upgrade our offense, and we'll also get a pitcher's velocity up. I want to give this power boost to... How about Nate Bell? He gets another boost for us. I'm really trying to get Nate Bell good on here. As far as this power boost... I like to give this one, how about Terrence Johnson? We get his power up to 52, the contact does come down, I could always change this later. And then velocity, we're going to see Tim Gallagher next. So why don't we give this to Tim Gallagher and see if he can put together the first good outing for us on the mound. So it's tough right now with this team, but we're just starting out, we're just getting things underway. It'll get better as we go, and plus I boosted the ego here for the series, so we're on 89 now, which is pretty tough. It's definitely difficult. We're just going to sim some stuff now and see if we're the last winless team. The Blowfish, they lose again, the Herbosaurs, as the B-Wolves are too good. They're way too good. 
And for the B-Wolves, it doesn't have my roster in the simulated names here. So that's why it didn't match up. And the Moose get the win here. So three winless teams still, and we are in last place in our division. Next time, we take on the Wide Loads. They can hit for power. I know that. They're one and two. We'll see if we can get our first win. We're in search of that first victory. Who doesn't have a hit yet, by the way? Kirkpatrick is perfect. Calhoun is doing well. Sanders, Riley. No hits, though, for Brooks, Martindale, Adams, or any of the pitchers down below here. Or Whitfield. And then for pitching, obviously ERAs are way too high. So that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. We'll continue on with the B-Wolves here shortly and see if they can get things going. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave your feedback below in the comment section and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.